Produce with benefits. It is time to get the most out of your trip to the farmer's market. We have Elizabeth Owens here joining us from Maryland University of Integrative Health with tips on what to buy when you go. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Of course, and we kind of talked in the, in the tease about the hidden gem. There's a lot of them at a farmer's market. You're kind of showing us one over here. Yes, so pastured eggs, I think, are a hidden gem because those tend to be a little bit harder to find at a grocery store. Right. Pastured eggs are going to be your highest quality egg. The, the chickens live a good life where they're fed really good food, so the quality of the egg is going to be much more nutritious. And when you talk about nu that nutrition, are these ingredients we find at the farmer's market that much better for us than the ones we find in a grocery store? How do they differ? So some grocery stores will have local produce, mm -hmm. but at a farmer's market, you're guaranteed that they're local. And when they're local, they spend less time in transit, which means the nutritional quality of them is going to be more intact when they arrive at your home and at your table. It just makes sense. Mm -hmm. When you go to a farmer's market, if you haven't been to one, it can be a little overwhelming knowing what to get and you know what you're going to do with those. What do you recommend as we as we walk in? What what are some tips that you have? Well, I think you could peruse around and see what all the different vendors have to offer. Yes. And then you want to make sure that you get a variety of colors. So making sure huh. you get the rainbow. Kind of so, like what we have here. Yeah, because that's going to give you the best nutrient profile in your diet, eating all the different colors. It's going to be really great for your immune system. I was telling you, actually, we both have nine-month-old babies at home. We go to the farmer's market and find fresh vegetables and make our own food and it's so easy are there you know some tips that you have of, of foods that that are good for that sort of thing absolutely so you want to get some foods that you can puree easily or mm -hmm. even give to the baby in small portions so carrots are really good for that because yes. you can parboil them and make them a little softer and even things like yellow squash and zucchini we do sweet potatoes too it's always been great beets just get kind of scary when you get the red beets. You have to be know what to expect once they um, have those red beets come out the other end as well. Kind of scary sometimes. <laughs> but when delicious we, and yes, nutritious. And again, it's just such a neat thing to, to see what all Maryland has to offer. There's a lot of produce here in our area. Yes, and there's even a mobile farmer's market that will really? go to some of the areas that don't have access to uh, these fresh vegetables and fresh fruits. And we have some students that will work with that to help them figure out what why you would choose certain vegetables over there and how to prepare those foods. Which is important to know what they all mean. Um, are there certain questions we should be asking vendors when we go up to, to get our carrots or our zucchini? Should we be asking them anything about how they grow it? Yes, you could inquire about how do they manage pests and huh. disease because a lot of farmers are very in tune to the environment so they don't want to use a lot of pesticides and herbicides. So they have different, more safe practices to manage the pests. And if you don't know much about that topic, you know, if, if they tell you a certain kind how do you know if that's good or not? Is there a website or a place we can go to kind of study up? So the USDA can label things organic. Now mm -hmm. that is an expensive label to have, so some right. farmers won't opt into that program. But just getting to know your local farmer, and they're really happy to share with you their practices. And just one more question too, what is at peak right now? What, what is the peak vegetable right here? What are, what are you seeing the most of? So we're seeing a lot of zucchini and yellow squash. We're seeing a lot of asparagus, kale, spinach, your leafy greens. And then also you can get garlic and onions. Mm -hmm. Um, eggplant, broccoli, yeah. Persian cucumbers, tomatoes, and apples. Very good. What are the difference with the Persian cucumbers? They're just a little bit smaller and they don't have the seeds Very inside. Cool. Yeah. So much to choose from. Uh, thank you for giving us kind of the, the Farmer's Market 401. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, we'll send it back into the studio.